Uh, my name's Dr. Wies and I'm a South African overclocker. So today I've got the uh, Z170R Gaming Pro AC uh, in the OC Lab from MSR. Uh, it's a nice little mini board like this. I'll be using this in uh, a competition that's currently running on hwbot.org, uh, um, which is the MSR OC Godlike uh, Season 2. Um, what I need to do is I need to just prepare this board for liquid nitrogen, and that entails just stripping off a couple of components, putting a nice layer of Vaseline on, heating it up, and then putting it all back together, testing it to make sure it works. So uh, for educational purposes, that's why this is on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop me a message uh, on the comments, and I'll get back to you um, when, when I can. Uh, so I'm just going to transition across here now, and let's get this up and running on the... And the lab. So I always work on a nice uh, soft surface, so you don't want to put the board under any unnecessary stress. The first step really is let's go ahead and strip off the two heat sinks. And the reason why we do that is because we want to make sure that we're getting Vaseline, um, especially around those MOSFET areas, we want to get a nice layer of Vaseline. And that just insulates the components from any moisture that might um, build during an extreme overclocking session. Uh, this board is really quite straightforward. It's just two screws for the MOSFETs and two screws for the chipset heatsink. Uh, nothing too strenuous there. And once that is off, we can then just flip the board back around right. So there's your little heatsink for your chipset and your MOSFET. So the MOSFET would have a little um, thermal pad. Just make sure that you get that off and uh, that it's not shifted or damaged in any way. We put those to one side. The next step is really quite simple, is we just go ahead and coat it with a layer of Vaseline. So what you want to try and avoid, and some people go as far as masking off the slots. I'm just really careful, and um, I don't get any Vaseline in there. But you you want to avoid getting any Vaseline inside your memory slots and inside your, your PCI slots. Uh, that's the only really crucial parts you've got to be careful around. Everywhere else is really quite uh, Vaseline friendly. And... Uh, method I use is I've got a cut off paintbrush so I just cut the bristle shorter so that I've got better control and you just throw it on and then just put a healthy layer on and then we'll use a hair dryer once we've got a, an even healthy layer to just melt it into those uh, hard to reach places a bit let me just go ahead and put that on there All right, so just giving it a good old paint making sure that you get up and around as many of as much of the components as possible. Keeping in mind, you want to avoid getting anything at all in the memory slots, and it's probably a good idea to to tape them up. So I just apply a lot of caution in this area here. Okay. So moving on, the nice healthy layer of Vaseline and just really make sure you get it into all those cranny, nooks and crannies. You know, a board of this size, the whole board will more than likely um, get moisture on it and, and get a lot of condensation on it if, when you, you're working between temperatures. So you just want to make sure that you give yourself the best chance not to have any problems. Alright, so that's Pretty much that for this side of the board. Right, for these harder to reach areas along here, what you can do is you can use a silicone spray, um, which will insulate it, or you can use a syringe with some Vaseline in the syringe just to get into this, those hard to reach places. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a syringe with some Vaseline, uh, but I'll do that uh, just now. Right, so that's the front side done. We'll then flip the board over and then focus on the, the back of the board. Again, just a nice healthy, health, healthy layer of Vaseline is all you need. So one method you can use is go from left to right and then do up and down and that just makes sure that you, you're sort of getting it into all the nicks and crannies. That there 
is the baseline of the preparation. The next step is just to heat it a little bit, just to, to melt it down. And to do that, I just use a stock standard little hairdryer, which is not plugged in. Right. Okay, once that side is done, then flip it around and do the same. Once that's done, I'd normally just give it one last uh, application around the, the important MOSFETs. you really got to make sure that you've got adequate coverage over these components because that is where, if water gets in, you're going to have a problem. And I'm talking dead CPU problem. Um, yeah, that's not pretty. Okay, so that in a nutshell is now ready for liquid nitrogen obviously when when we do the preparation and when we mount the the chip up um we'll go as far as putting paper tile everywhere and just making sure that if there is any condensation it will be absorbed up yep well uh, i'll go ahead and just put the heat sinks back on once it dries and uh it's ready for the uh for the next session with the uh, liquid nitrogen so guys thank you for tuning in hope this has been somewhat informative um, until next time, happy benching.